Maxi, we finally made it. What an absolute whirlwind of a journey it's taken to get here. Today, I get to marry you, my best friend. Rising sun hits the sky. You make me feel beautiful and special and you've shown me that I can be loved for exactly who I am, even with all my quirks, insecurities and farts. <laughs> A regular guy like me to persuade a beautiful, intelligent and motivated woman to go on a second date with me after what I would have known would have been the worst first kiss full of saliva you've ever had. <laughs> but for some amazing reason you looked past this and took a chance on me. You're the kindest person I know, the most loving person I ever want to know. I must have done something right to have found you to spend the rest of my life with. From the moment I met you, I could instantly see just how much of a beautiful man you were. I fell in love with you so, so quickly and so fast. I knew that you were the one for me very early on and that I was going to marry you. You were the absolute light of my life. You're my best friend and my partner in crime through all that we face in life. You're the one whose hand I want to hold always. I made a promise to your dad, Maxwell, to remind you of his love and how proud he would be of you today and always. I'm now promising you that I'll never break that promise. Katie, you truly have been Macca's Rock, and I'm grateful every day that you came into his life. I'm extremely humbled to be celebrating the unity of you two with your closest friends and family. I look forward to what the future holds for you too. I know it's going to be nothing but fucking greatness. I promise to always be there with you, for you in every possible way. I promise to be the best version of myself and always make you proud. I promise to be committed to our love. And most importantly, I promise to love you unconditionally until my last breath. As I stand here today promising my life, my heart and my whole world to you, I can wholeheartedly say it's the most easiest decision I've ever made. I'm so deeply and madly in love with you, Maxwell, and I'm eternally grateful that you chose me to be your forever. Katie, I love you both more than life and I'm so excited to see what happens in the next five years and what the next 50 years will bring. And someday I hope to be writing letters to your babies when they're born and when they marry as well. So please raise a shaky hand, glass, to Katie and Max and also to writing letters.